find the sums of these three examples, we're going to use one process for the first two and a separate process for the third one. For A and B, what we need to do is first plot this starting number on the number line and then move according to the spaces of the number we're going to combine with it. So let's start with A, plotting number 2, uh, negative 2, which is right here. And since we're adding 3 to that, when we add a number on the number line, we move to the right. So we're going to go from 2, 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right. We end up at positive 1. So negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. You can see that sometimes using a number line can make something confusing, like adding and subtracting negatives much easier. Our second example is 2 minus 3. Let me do this one in a different color so it's easier to see. This number starts here at 2, and now we're subtracting 3. Well, subtracting 3 is the same thing as adding a negative, so this really could be written as 2 plus negative 3. Now when we're adding a negative, if we added a positive by moving to the right, we must move to the left to add a negative. So we're going to go back three spaces. One, two, three. Positive two minus three, or positive two plus negative three, is negative one. Now for our third example, I'm actually going to hide the number line because we don't really need it. To find the sums of fractions, we have to first find a common denominator for the fractions. Now one thing you can always know is that if you multiply the two denominators together, the number you'll get will be a common denominator. It won't always be the smallest common denominator, but it will be one that works, and then sometimes you can just reduce at the end. So let's multiply these two numbers together and see what a common denominator could be. 5 times 6 is 30, so we know that both of these fractions could be made into numbers of 30s. So if our first one is 3 fifths, we have to multiply 5 by 6 to be 30. And we have to multiply then 3 by 6 so that we don't change the value of the fraction. And that gives us 18. So 3 fifths is the same thing as 18 thirtieths. 1 sixth, to get 6 to be 30, we have to multiply it by 5. So we multiply 1 by 5 also. You'll see that really all we're doing is multiplying by 1, since 5 divided by 5 is 1. That means we aren't changing the value of this fraction at all. 1 times 5 is 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Now both of our fractions are in groups of 30. And the sum is much easier. 18 thirtieths plus 5 thirtieths. 18 thirtieths plus 5 thirtieths is 23 thirtieths.